Today we're taking a look at an extremely amazing earbuds which was funded over a quarter million US dollar in Indiegogo earlier this year and we're really excited to be able to check out this highly demanded earbuds. These earbuds definitely tries to take an alternative route to the conventional earbuds design and from a design perspective, I think they absolutely nailed it. So will this be any good? Welcome to a review of the ID Mix Song X. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the ID Mix Song X. So I really enjoy when companies go out of their way to innovate and create something unique and functional. It just shows you how much thought it goes into making an earbud stand out. The Song X was sent over by ID Mix for review and I'm really excited to be able to check them out together with you. And although they have sent me these earbuds, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. These earbuds retail for about 250 Malaysia Ringgit and that translates to about US 60. Still a pretty well priced earbuds into the standard. So let's see how these earbuds stand out to the competition out there. If you're interested in getting these earbuds, do check out some of my links in the description below and it'll definitely help out the channel a lot. Taking the earbuds out of the box, the first thing that catches your eye is how these earbuds are not your conventional TWS earbuds with a flip up lid, but it's designed to be this circular awesome design. So these earbuds are made out of two pieces of material and the outside band is made out of this 6000 series aluminium alloy. I don't really know what that means, but all I know is that this band outside is cold to the touch and has a super high grade finish that gives the earbud an amazing look and feel. And in the center of the earbuds itself, you get a nice spin out cradle which is made out of mostly plastic but it's super high quality. And on the outside of the band you get a super cool font with the Song X branding in front and flipping the case to the back you also get a very nice USB type C charging port and this is not the only charging method of the earbuds but the Song X also supports Qi wireless charging so drop it onto any Qi certified wireless charger and you're good to go. At the top side of the case you can see that ID Mix also cleverly integrates a charging indicator to tell you the battery status of the earbuds and green means you have 70 to 100 percent of battery life white means you have between 30 to 70 percent and red means you have less than 30 percent and that's when you have to charge up your earbuds so the execution of this led indicator is so high quality and classy and i really like it so to review the earbuds gently push on the back of the case and the earbuds will go into this position for you to access your earbuds and you can feel all the magnets working inside to position the case nicely in one position and id mix say that these earbuds are inspired by the idea of a Dyson Sphere. So if you're a nerd like me, you'll definitely know what a Dyson Sphere is and that definitely gets me excited. So taking the earbuds out of the case, you notice that the earbuds are made with a very unique shape. Unlike what normal earbuds look like, the Song X actually has a unique curve that looks and represents something like a horn. The tip of the touch sensor is made of a nice matte black plastic with an X in the middle. And speaking of the X, there is actually a very subtle LED indicator inside that lights up when no media is playing. To display that awesome looking X and it looks superb in dark places but it's not so bright that it annoys anyone and you can see they put a lot of thought into designing even the LED indicators. So the majority of the earbuds is made out of this reflective plastic piece and it's slightly smoke color so it's not just a reflective piece of metal and these earbuds sits very nice and snugly inside your ear and do push quite deep into your ear canals as well and they're comfortable and give you a pretty good passive isolation. So overall these earbuds are rated to 
give you about 5 hours of playback time and the case gives you about 20 hours of playback time. The case takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge and the earbuds takes about 1 hour to fully charge. So since these earbuds are sort of an early 2020 earbuds, we're not seeing any Bluetooth 5.1 or 5.2 but we're getting pretty modern Bluetooth 5.0 that supports both the AAC as well as SBC audio codec. So the Song X is also rated to be IPX5 water resistant and is really sufficient for your activity needs so working out, getting sweat and even getting caught under a rain shouldn't be much of a problem for these earbuds. The Song X also supports independent playback on both earbuds so you can use the left or right earbuds independently but it's not so seamless. If you put the right side back into the case, it does pause for a second before the audio is then continued on the left side, so it still uses a form of master-slave technology here, but at least you can use it independently. And lastly, the Song X doesn't support multi-point connectivity, so you can still connect them to multiple devices, just not at the same time. So before we talk about sound quality, to properly fit these earbuds, you don't just shove it straight inside your ear, but like most TWS, you always insert it at an angle and twist it down. This would ensure that you get a proper seal. And once you get the proper seal, you will experience a pretty nice sound quality overall. One thing that I want to point out is that these are extremely balanced earbuds, so properly tuned and very enjoyable. These are not your typical bass head earbuds and the bass is present and satisfying but not aggressive. The clarity is also exceptional, hearing every highs and symbols in a song. Personally, I think this is a very well executed, especially in a relatively small 6mm driver. These are however marketed as hi-fi drivers, so I think it fits that claim really well. Soundstage is not really wide on these, so you don't get an extremely spatial feel with these, but that is typical for drivers of this size. Overall, I'm really satisfied with the sound quality of these earbuds. And in terms of the call quality, the Song X is also a very good quality earbuds for making phone calls and performs really well in both quiet and noisy environments. From my test, it also did really well in suppressing the ambient sound and letting your voice through nice and clear. One of the better earbuds for calls that I've tested. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Song X is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbud. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. With this version of the Bluetooth 5.0, latency performance is pretty good and doesn't really get delays when watching videos on YouTube or Netflix. Using it for gaming is also extremely enjoyable with very little latency with most games. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So the controls of the Song X is pretty standard, nothing amazing here, but lets you control the basics of most of your media controls. So as the earbuds is a bit hard to control outside of the ears, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to control it from my ears itself. So to play or pause media or pick up phone calls, simply double tap on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. So there you go, play or pause. So to skip tracks forward, and yes, forwards is the only direction available here, triple tap on either side of the earbuds and it will skip your tracks forwards. And lastly, when no media is playing, triple tap on either earbuds and it will call out your assistant. So there you go. And this is also where you can ask your assistant to control the volume of your media. So that is basically all of the controls you get from the Song X. I honestly really like these earbuds and from the moment I picked them up and started using them, every experience just feels extremely positive. I'm personally not too bothered by the controls, so if you want a super high quality piece of earbuds, this is definitely something for you to check out. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.